Hey, Josh, how, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing great. Uh, coming at you from Toronto, Canada. So uh, we love a good roast here, I have to tell you. And I'm not talking about the kind that you put in the oven. I am so excited about this show because I have to say, I as, as soon as I found out I was going to be talking to you, I went back and I looked at some of the roasts over the years and I couldn't even believe how many I had seen. What was it like for you to kind of go back and watch some of these and just relive them, you know, or, or see some for the first time? Yeah, I mean, it was really special because I grew up watching the roasts. Like, it, it, you know, those were some of my first experiences with with what goes into making produced comedy. Um, because, you know, I, I already started watching the Comedy Central specials, but then the roast came along and it was just this this new discovery of something that could be like so vicious and mean and funny. Uh, so to be a, a part of it down the line is just like, it, it, it you know, it's close to closing a loop for me because it's something I've, I've always wanted to be a part of. Yeah, I, I, I think you like you, it's you reach the pinnacle of your career if you're being roasted. I don't know, something. It's just so much fun to watch these. So when you look back and started to watch them again, who stood out for you? You know, who really made you laugh in terms of a roaster and the roast tea? I think that Greg Giraldo as a roaster, you know, it, it's, it, it can't be understated how great he was at it. And then as far as a, a subject, I think that... Um, I think that like Justin Bieber was really good. Like his whole, his roast was really good. They picked some great uh, roasters and, and the chemistry with people was very funny. So yeah, those are, those are probably my tops as far as roasters and roasties. Yeah, there's so many good ones. I mean, Jeff Ross is, is it, it's just, it goes on and on. And then there's people who come on and they're roasters and they really surprise you. Like somebody, for example, like Martha Stewart. You know, somebody who you think yeah. doesn't really have any comedic bones. And then they just like, wow. You know, what do you think about stuff like that? I, I definitely enjoy being surprised in that way. You know, as 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 far as roasts go, as, as mean and vicious and savage as everybody gets, you never want to see anybody bomb. That's not, that's like not fun, you know? So whenever someone who you know, comedy isn't their forte, or it's not just something we've ever seen them do, and they end up being great. That's, that's always uh, a little button on top of a great comedy roast. Yeah. Now, do you think like, in your opinion, especially as a comedian yourself, can you ever get too savage? I have to say the other day, I was walking, I'm listening to a podcast. And I happened to be listening to the Rob Lowe podcast. And he was talking about his his roast. And he says, bring it on. I mean, here's a guy who's had some stuff in his career and his life that he's gone through. And he said he enjoyed the more savage he, that they got on him. He enjoyed it. What do you how do you feel about that? I mean, I think that it, it's what makes the roast special. It's it's a it's a time, um, you know, where you can get together with people that, you know, people that that love you and everything. And we we can go too far. It's probably what makes the roast so enticing is that it's, it's one of the few places where it's socially acceptable to go further than far. And I think that without that, it, it wouldn't quite be the roast and it wouldn't be as uh, as enjoyable. But also, where would we do that then? You know, it's like it's like these these uh, these thoughts and, and and ideas, as funny as they are, they also have to go somewhere. And they're not they're not going to go in your office. You know, you get fired. It, it's like this is a place that is is important to have. And it, it's to the point where it's almost like sacred a bit. Yeah. Has there any has there ever been anyone who's just was so pissed off like that they just kind of stormed off after or do they just kind of go, this is you know, this is what I signed up for? No, you know, I feel I don't know of any instance like that. I feel uh, like Comedy Central has always been very great about picking a roasty and roasters with a great sense of humor that that know what they're signing up for. Uh, so I don't know of any instance like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, just curious. You know, you just never know, right? We sometimes you can see them getting a little uncomfortable, but it, that's that's what makes it so much fun. It, it really is. A, I love them. I just love this. Now, you yourself, of course, Josh. We know you from the Daily Show. Um, your, your stand-up comedy, of course, this past year has not been so great for comedians. But I was going to ask. You know, I wanted to know when you get to work get to work on something like the Daily Show, which is such a great show. Working with Trevor Noah, amazing guy. What do you learn? How does that make you better as a stand-up? Uh, you know, I, I think that I've learned a lot about um, structure, storytelling, and having more of an open worldview with my jokes. So now, you know, I've always tried to write jokes that were for everybody, and now I know for a fact that I am because I'm, I'm learning how to make uh, certain ideas universal and, and experiences that may be just completely uh you know completely solely mine more just 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 more accessible to other people and i've also learned how to write when i don't feel inspired or don't feel funny or anything i'm, I'm you know learning how to to take information and, and like a like a, a certain stimulus almost as just data and creating jokes out of that, um, which is which is incredibly useful when you don't feel particularly inspired that day. But all of it has been, you know, every every single day has been a, a different lesson that I've that I've taken into my own stand up and into everything that I write. That's amazing, and I, I understand we're going to have um, your own comedy special that's coming on Comedy Central. Can you tell me just a, quickly a little bit about that? Yeah, so uh, it, it's a the special. <laughs> we we were actually supposed to tape it a while back, but then obviously the pandemic happened and stuff. So that's been been a, a one of the things that that has stalled it, and so now we're we're able to. Uh, tape it socially distanced and everything, and it, and it will be coming out later this year. And I, I, I couldn't be more excited. You know, it's something that I've I've been working towards for years, and it's finally happening. So that feels amazing. Amazing. Well, I think that one day you are going to be roasted. I can see it. I can feel it. Who would be your top person that you would want there roasting you? I I feel like Kevin uh, Kevin Hart would be tops like either as a host or as one of the roasters because he he's just not only is he so good at it but he has a talent for making just regular organic moments feel special and i think that's that's what makes a lot of things that he does memorable you know yeah for sure well congratulations on everything we look forward to this you're special and we look forward to this this is going to be fantastic and uh, just a pleasure to talk to you this morning i uh, hope you take care of yourself and have a great day thanks you Josh. too as well thank you so much i appreciate it hope to talk to you okay bye-bye you're welcome bye-bye